Good morning. This is your Montana Weekly Briefing for the week of April 15th through the 21st. I'm meteorologist Paul Nutter with the National Weather Service Office in Great Falls. If you are watching this after Monday, then you may wish to check the National Weather Service webpage or call any of the Montana National Weather Service offices for updates as conditions may have changed. Winter weather will continue to affect all areas of the state through early Wednesday. Much colder than average temperatures and periods of light snow will cause snow and ice-covered roads over mountain passes and also for other areas at night. Visibility may be reduced to less than two miles when snowing and young livestock may be stressed by these conditions. Mild conditions return to the state for the second half of the week. No additional weather hazards are expected until late Friday. Low pressure developing over north-central Montana will cause increasing southwest winds along and east of the mountains. Precipitation is expected along and west of the Continental Divide, causing hazardous travel through mountain passes. Thunderstorms are also possible, producing lightning and small hail. Confidence presently is low for these hazards, so watch for updates later in the week. The Week 2 outlook reveals a reversal in pattern towards warmer and drier than average conditions in Montana for the last week of April. We have two weather hazards to consider this week. The first is the ongoing period of unseasonably cold weather with periods of light snow. This will continue to affect the whole state through early Wednesday. Roads may become icy, especially at night and through mountain passes. Furthermore, the cold and wet weather will cause stress for young livestock. Conditions improve for the second half of the week, but another disturbance moves through the state late Friday into Saturday. This will bring valley rain and mountain snow to western Montana with strong gusty winds east of the Continental Divide. Please watch for updates on this second hazard later in the week. So thank you, and if you have any questions or concerns, contact any of the four Montana National Weather Service offices. We are available all hours of every day.